This pond is massive. Like so that. Oh, he has an orange belly. Here, you gotta split them up so we don't get mixed up. I like how this guy's got orange on his fin. Oh yeah, dude, look how sick that is. <laughs> dude, that's dope. Before I start this video just yet, I wanted to give you, my viewers, the opportunity to get these fish yourself. I'm going to pick up koi fish in just a second, but I need to say something. If you guys do want your own koi fish by Next Day Koi, which is the people I'm getting these koi fish from, it's called Next Day Koi for a reason. By the time you order it, the next day, within 48 hours, that fish is at your front door waiting for you to go in your pond, tank, whatever it may be. Whether you buy one fish or a thousand fish, it's all the same price for shipping. There's a 14 day worry free guarantee. You could select your delivery day, so if you don't want it to be that next day, you could select it to whatever day in the whole entire year that you want your koi to arrive to your front door. And when you're going through the website, the fish you see on that picture is the exact fish you will receive. So I needed to say that if you guys do want to get your own koi, check out the description down below. You get 10% off using the code CUFFARO on your order. Any orders that you might want to get. This fish from like $8 all the way up to $450. I thought I'd throw this opportunity out at you, the CUFFAROs, before I started this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm obviously back in Florida now. I'm editing these videos. So yes, be sure to check that out in the link in the description and enjoy the video. First stop, Blue Ridge Koi Hatchery. And by the way, I'm in North Carolina now, and we kind of skipped through the filming of the airport because every time I film this, the same thing. Beautiful. I, I literally left snow, buddy. Yes. So, Greg, tell me what kind of what's going on today. All right. So we are with the son of the founder. Yes. This is Randy. Right, Randy. This is his son. So this is the third generation, Casey. How's it going? And we are at Blue Ridge Fish Hatcheries. We are going to pick out some fish for Water Garden Weekend in May, which you're going to be at about fifteen thousand dollars in fish. This is where do all the farms ship into here? Yep. Okay, so like five farms. Yep. So we have five farms. We get shipped in here with the um the fish. So we're going to pick some out for your pond for next day koi. So we're going to ship them down to Paul's pond that we built. This is a greenhouse, and as you can see. The second you walk in, look at this. Oh, holy moly. Dude, I wasn't expecting to see this many. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is give you guys a tour. I usually do these tours, if you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I do tours, pretty much any fish store, fish locations that I can find lots of fish at. And I share the experience through the lens with you, the Caferos. If you're new here, I am Paul Cafaro. You guys are the Caferos, and uh, I tend to film fish a decent amount. You can't even see the bottom. That's so many fish. Oh my gosh. Look at how intense that is, dude. Is even more? So you guys were actually the inventor. The, the, how do you say that? The person that bred the first butterfly koi. Butterfly koi, that's right. That is, that's cool. First of all, I don't even know how I'm filming right now because my hands are so damn cold. Like, I'm from Florida. I, I don't do this cold weather thing. And it's probably like 45 degrees out here. That's cold for me. Bunch of goldfish in all these little bins here. Look at that. There's just hundreds, thousands and thousands of them. Look at how many koi are in this. Just <coughs> all right. Comment down below how many koi are inside this bin right here. Let me know. My first one. You know Greg's already is? picking out fish. That's, a, that's my platinum old guy. Oh. All you gotta get over here is before you catch all the big ones. That's a beautiful one because I love the white uh, fins on the yellow. What would that one be? Yamaguki. A Yamaguki. Look at it. A Yamaguki. See how it's got the white fins? Yeah. So it's got the orange body with the white fins. So that's, yeah. a, that's a beautiful fish. And then it's got the Jinren, which is the scales and the shiny scales. That See is that? A really nice. Isn't that fish. a nice fish? Yeah. Yes. Tom screwed up. <laughs> oh, there, right there. That guy. Oh, for sure. So he's putting another one in. Yeah. What, what kind we got here? Oh, Kujaku. it's so sick. Say it again. Kujaku. A Kujaku. Look at how cool that is. Kujaku. Oh my gosh. How does there even names like this? Okay, so we <laughs> Show how the koi sock works. Puts it in. Right in. 
Boop. Straight this way, and then it pops out the bottom, right? Just like that. Oh, he has an orange belly. Look at that. Look at that fish right there. Orange stomach. That's crazy. Is that the next one you're getting? Yep. What is it, Casey? Benny Matsuko Mawake. Benny Matsuko Mawake. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Hey, guys, you guys want to know what a Benny Matsuko Mawake looks like? It's right there. See, it's got a little bit of red on it. Yep. So that kind of, that's what makes it a more it's complicated fat. thing. That thing is loaded. So that's about a like, two-year-old koi? Yeah, that's probably about right. Yep. All right, let's get that guy. The gold Ogon right there. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Or him, I don't know. But that's it. For sure. Oh my gosh. There you go. We are picking out the new fish for the pond right now. There's the second fish I've got. So cool, dude. I don't know if you want to scoop him too. I gotta do that platinum. Just so I have a white one in there. And then that's that's it for me, and maybe one more. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got a tint of like pink on him. Oh, uh, when the light catches him right. Yeah, yeah. I can see what you mean. There's a tint, kind of, but oh wow, he's cool. That's an Ogon too, right? Yep, Platinum Ogon. Yep. Okay, I'm getting there. I don't know the Habahuta, but I know this. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian, you picked him out? <laughs> so what would that be? Joyce Ochiba. Ochiba, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That fish is awesome. Yep. Alright, let's get that Ochiba. Brian, Why are they so hard to breed? They, the uh, call, the call rate is very, very high. Yeah. So we're gonna swap that out for the Platinum? That one? The yeah, Milwaukee. yeah, well, swap. You're gonna get like six or eight fish, so whatever you want, but... I mean, I'll, I'll get that. Fun. Uh, Greg, how big is it? It's super over filtered. Yeah, okay. that's fine. <laughs> this this Yamabuki's poles. Here you gotta split them up so we don't get mixed up. Alright, so here's my three fish so far. So far we've got three fish. And uh I still got three more to go. Never mind, I've got four fish. I can't he's under this net right here though. Human Roo are unique and koi because they change patterns very rapidly and many times throughout their life, so if you keep this thing in your pond, you'll probably wake up one morning and come out, it'll look like a completely different fish. Can, That's so sick. It can change literally overnight. I mean, he's, he's all black, white head, and then an orange body, orange belly. I like how this guy's got orange on his fin. solid black. This one? Yeah, yeah. There he is. Uh, the ghost boy are typically white and black. Oh, yeah. Dude, look how sick that is. <laughs> Dude, that's dope. For sure. Who's this one for? Me. Okay. Thank you. There's the invisible. You don't even see him oh until he gets gosh. like right Let's here. That. What? That thing and that's a butterfly. Insane. That's like the coolest part. That's that. so sick, dude. You can't even like see it. Well, hey, it's good to have one black koi. What's the myth with that? Like, uh, one black. Black. Everyone should have one black koi because they're good luck. Good luck. Yep. There you go. So every pond wow. they have one black koi. So just outside all of this going on right here, look at this yeah. pond they got out here. This place is unreal. By the way, that's all fish. So is that, and so is that. They have some good ones over there too. Yeah, that one's dope. You want get, that one, Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Let me get a good look at it. That's cool. For sure, Asagi? Yep. Sweet. It goes in the back. Yeah. yeah. There he goes. I think that's it. Brian and Greg are still picking out their fish, which are right here. This is all Greg and Brian's. And here are my fish. There we go, man. That is so dope. Comment down below which one of these fish are your favorite. And if you don't feel like spelling it habahuchi habahi, then just comment down below the color of one of these fish right here that you like the best. Personally, I love them all, and that's why it shows them but I think this yellow one is really catching my eye the best. There's mine and Gregory's fish right there. They're still picking out fish. So this turned out from being a tour video to buying koi fish. It doesn't look like gold. It doesn't even look like fish because it's so solid that it looks like just a gold block, like plated bottom. It looks like gold coins. Exactly, gold coins. yeah. And that is gold coins because that's money for them. 
Yeah. So maybe 10% of all fish that are, are born get actually make it to being able to sell. 90% of them don't have these colors and so they get culled, which means they just, you know, make them into fertilizer. Yeah. Is that about right, Randy? About 10%? What's that? You keep about 10% of the offspring? Uh, it's according to the varieties. We keep most of these, but if you're reading right. sake with the hakus, maybe we may keep 5%. Right. Show us even less. Right. Some of the, the uh, shusui's and and uh, Yamabuki's breed relatively true, so we'll keep... These are Yamabuki's, right? right? Yeah, we'll keep 90% of these. Oh, okay. They're, they're easy. Right. So you're keeping 90% of these guys. Yeah, and these over here are probably the best half a percent. Um, yeah, so the fish that we just picked from, half of 1% of all koi that are born look that good. Probably even this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dope. These are aquascapes? Yeah, these are the one from aquascapes, right here. Yeah. And these are the one for uh, Caferoscape. Well, a couple of these are not going to be on sale. A couple of these are going into my pond. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what am I doing with these? These are going to be shipped to your house to go in your pond. All right, well, what right. an interesting quick um, trip. We only went to two of the greenhouses. There's like four more, but I'm pretty sure you all get the concept of kind of what's going on here. They breed the fish, and then they bring them to markets, and they ship them out to different places. They bring them to their dad's farm, which their dad's farm will be in the next video because we're heading there in about like... It's like an hour away, so we're heading there in just a little bit. You're okay. the tour guide here. Right now, we're gonna go see Randy's personal collection. So some of these fish he's had for, you know, how long are some of these fish that Randy's had? How old are they? Yeah. Uh, some of them are probably 10 to 12 years old. 10 to 12, but some beautiful fish that we have out here. Alrighty, so this is the house you grew up in. Yep. And uh, I wish I can go to the house I grew up in. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> this pond is massive. Look how deep it is. So in a couple weeks, we'll drain this pond down and get probably 80, 90% of these fish out and take them down to the greenhouse and get them ready for spawning season. Really? Okay. So these are your breeders. Yep. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a grass carp is. They're not usually albino. And as you can see right down there, it looks like a koi fish because it's is it with the 100 other ones, but that is an albino grass carp. Appreciate it. Yeah, Appreciate right. it. We're gonna have those fish into my pond in just a little Greg, bit and then let him know I said thank you too. He's a little bit far away from me. <laughs> well, it's cold in North Carolina. I'm sure I have viewers in North Carolina, so if you are from North Carolina, shout out to you. Thanks for letting me in your state. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I'm just blabbing on. This was an awesome experience.